Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Bart. I'm Scott. Woo, we got a compass box. Pete Monster or Ashtray. Original story. Limited original, edition. Original story. It's a mouthful. Woo, there's a lot going on, but we love us some Pete Monster. And we're going to test it. Woo, you did that nice. I like it. Well, switch well, things up. Roll reversal. Switched there. it up. I liked it. You did good. I know you like saving that. Uh, we are both Compass Box fanboys. I may be a little bit more than you. Maybe. Yes. Well, we both like it. Yeah. I'm more, well, I do most of the shopping, but I'm more apt to be you like, oh, there's a brand new shopping. Compass Box. Well, you do like 99. Test that one. Right. Uh, newer, limited edition, Pete Monster cast strength. We have... Now, there's no age statement on the box, on the label. You can go, well, they don't even put it on. Well, you can kind of, it's it's interpretive Real. on the website. They got if you, out, right? Well, did they? Mm -hmm. I think I did hear that. I forgot. But anyway, you can go to the website. You can go to Woo. download a PDF, and it gives you this tree ring deal. Yeah. The I circle, do. it looks like a tree ring. It's and like then if you count the life. ring, and it'll it, it uh, it's like a pie. And these little slices are all the different whiskeys that were used to make this. And then there's different rings. So you can count the rings and be like, oh, well, this Kalila was 13 years old. This Kalila was well, 17. Yeah. This Klein Leash was 25. You can't release it per the law, but you can go to the right. website. You can dive as deep as you want to dive. You can make a deep, deep dive. What Compass Box, John Glazier, do do, do do, does do, is list the percentages and the distilleries on the back, just right. not the ages. So this is made, this is a, there's 9,126 bottles. Mm. Uh, James Saxon and Alex Driver are the whiskey makers. Okay. Uh, this is 35% Williamson Isla Malt from a refill American Oak Hogshead. Okay. 34.2% Kalila from a refill American Oak Hogshead. And this is what they do. Lots of intel. 17.9% from Kalila refill bourbon barrel. 11.8% Kalila from a refill sherry punchin. And one point. I love punchins. 1% Highland malt blend from a custom French oak cask heavy toast. Uh, the Pete Monster Arcana. Arcana? Arcana edition? Yeah. They use some of those French toasted Magic. oaks. Oak casks. Love it. Heavy so the toasted. Pete Monster's near and dear to my heart because it is what helped. Well, oh, yeah. it's what turned me into a Pete. Spurred. Yeah, it after created I created the it, monster. I literally left his house after having it, stopped by the liquor store, and said, I want to buy everything that is peated Scotch whiskey. And I walked out of there with like four bottles. Nobody wants to see Marshall no more. They want Shady. <laughs> he I created like, the monster. Hello. Yeah, uh, new barrel caps are available on the website. We call these barrel caps. They are kind of a yeah, glass, glass topper. It's got a rubber seal on there. You can push it down, lock it in, secure it. I like and to say, even a dummy can do it. Hold your whiskey overnight or longer. It keeps it fresh. That way you don't feel like, oh, yeah, you got to pound that last little bit. Save it for good old, the morrow. Save it for the morrow. Good old Kalila yes. peated peanut. Yep, roasted peanut roasted shell. peanut. Um, it's not a heavy tobacco. It's not all those deep earthy notes. It is that roasted peanut note that's in there. What I will and now, so it's not showing in the color. Uh, compass boxes are natural color. Mm. Oh, uh, if I didn't say fifty six point seven percent. Nice. I was just gonna ask. Uh, at eleven point eight percent from a sherry punchin. I want to see. It's not showing in the color. I wouldn't say. But it'll be interesting to see if I can get any of that on the palate. I have. Yes. Mm. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. <laughs> Man. Mm. 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 And yeah, you're getting it on the palate. Mm. Oh yeah. Man, do they have some there's so compass boxes will have these waves of complexity mm. and depth mm. that'll just bounce through. One sip is not enough. Wow. The finish Heavy. is peated and long. Go ahead. Heavy ABV. Nice peat right up front. Citrus fruits, sweets here. I thought for a minute I got just a hint of a sherry. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I it's think gone I got now. A hint as well. But 
roasted peanuts all, all over this. Way over. Yeah. Pe and the finish is still long lasting roasted meat, even like a roasted, spitted boar. <laughs> and just slowly turning. But again, it's roasted peanut shell mostly. But yeah, I got a savoriness in the finish. Mm. Powdered sugar, cream cheese, peat, a little earthy. Looking for other notes here. You got the peat, you got the peanut. Looking for those milder, more subtle notes. It is a little earthy. Might be some of the roasted meat that you're getting. Yeah. I think I get some of that punching right at the front of the finish. That's, that maybe that's what happened because I thought I got it before, but then it went away. Yeah. I get a little like flash of grape or something and then and it's gone slight maritime slight um mm -hmm. seaweed sea salt sea yeah. salt seaweed Khalila all over us. oh yeah majority yeah. 30 34 17 is 51 yep 62 63 about 63 percent of it's Kalila. that's some good math and like i say you can go to the website sense. pull up the pdf and, and and sort out the ages on this wow i put a drop in yeah, Pete Monster was the first uh, peated whiskey that we had that turned Bart onto it. I st it Huge. still took me a while to get into peated whiskeys, but Huge. we Very. just we just re-reviewed the Pete Monster. They kind yeah. of redid the the recipe. There was, was a little magic. bit more Kalila in it. Still magical. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to be a little less impressed. Not the case at all. It was magical. Still, my very first Scotch tasting. There was a 16-year uh, Lagavulin, and it was mm -hmm. too much for me. I didn't like it. I was like, God dang, who drinks that? <laughs> and now that would be on the light end. Right there, mid-palate, I got just hints of the sherry, a little mm -hmm. bit of the rich, fruity, some some darker fruit, some berries yeah. that came in. Uh, but yeah, then it's gone, though. You, you can get it on the mid-palate, and then it's just the peat takes over. Yeah, the roasted nut, the roasted peanut shell. Nope. Better put a drop of water on it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is this is water delicious. Didn't feel meat. like it changed it at all. I'll take another drop. I'm going to try to dilute down a little further. See if it changed anything. I would have no that was problem. Pretty healthy. Yep. Drop. No problem. I would have no problem sipping this neat. Um, this is again for those peat aficionados this, out there. This is that roasted savory side with those hints yeah. of sea it, salt. And I just looked, I was thinking this was in the 60s. It's 56.7. It actually feels... It does feel so hot. hot. Yeah. Like it's got more punch to it. Yeah. Man, someone's... I know. Thinking about me or talking about me. That's when your ears ring. That's yeah. happening too. What? Well, when the I hear nose bells. does that, that's cocaine. I <laughs> 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 just thought I'd catch you off guard. <laughs> uh, wow. Water bringing out more sweetness, not uh, not not the sherry sweetness, but just more citrusy, more sugared, powdered sugar. Yeah, the water gives me a lot more of the powdered sugar note. Yeah, that's still delicious. Mm -hmm. It's moved a little, a little bit of that peat further into the background, although it's still prevalent. There's enough wow. earthiness here that, that I would think there was a little bit of Ardbeg in okay. in the blend. Okay. Uh, because I mean, it's, I mean, it, it's Kalila, you know, those roasted peanuts right. and the peat, but then there's a little bit of that earthiness, a little bit of those smoked meats, a little bit of the the maritime, but yeah, it just says ooh. Williamson Isla malt. So hmm. yeah, yeah, because you're right. It's almost I a little to, bit of that earthy. I know. I hate to appear dumb, well, I don't but know. I don't know what yeah, that is. I know what is Williamson, Williamson Isla malt. malt. So is it, it's obviously a company we on don't, Isla. We don't do the research. Nope. So you have to. Someone so, let us know. Yeah. What Unless is it Williamson? says on the comments. back here, but there's a lot of so, right now. While you're right. looking at that. Yeah, but it's oh, weird. There's what? This is to mark the 20th birthday of Compass Box. Really? Or wait. Man, it's uh, 20 years old. Whiskey born wild peat monster. Okay. Uh, it's the 20th birthday of peat monster. And to celebrate America's influence, blah, blah, blah. We brought wow. Pete Monster back to where it all began. Pete Monster's been around a while. I didn't know it was 20 years old. You know what? So is my marriage. Come uh, oh. May 10th. 
May 10th, baby. Congratulations. Thank you. A little snippet. Yeah. We originally, Compass Box. Oh. We originally created a PD whiskey called Monster mm -hmm. for the Goldstein family at Park Avenue Liquor Shop in New York City in 2003. That's right. It turned out to be so popular that we created a new batch, renamed it the Pete Monster, and it joined our core range. Blah, blah, da, da, da. Still some great information on here. Yeah, I'd love to fight you for this one. Um, I may have bought two Woo! out of expectation. Nice. Good call. <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> Sometimes when we really like a whiskey, yeah. we buy two of them. Well, I always tell them we could Greco-Roman wrestle. That means oiled up and naked. Yeah. He's very hairy. <laughs> yeah, so. hairy. You can grab on. It gives you handles, though. I'm like, ouch, ouch. <laughs> More olive oil, sir. <laughs> what are you thinking? Scored. I'm trying Very to break scored. you. I even I snorted a little bit there. I'm moving you along. <laughs> uh, Just like when we're wrestling. <laughs> um, this is easy. This is a solid 90. Um, I, I love the peat. The roasted uh, peanut shell is not my favorite peat. I like the tobaccos and the earthy flavors. But it's still, if you're a peat lover, you're going to like this. You're going to love it. You can bring it down, play with it because of that strong ABV. It does feel really hot. Really hot. So yeah, it feels hotter than the 56. It, yeah, don't worry about watering it down. I'm going, it's a pleasant one. I'm going 91. Drive right there with you. You're ahead so, of me by one. Yeah. I debated 91.90. Nice. 91.90. But I'm pretty rough. Pretty rough on the peach. You got to really. Yeah. And actually, I think with water, that the sh mid palate, that sherry is kind of actually showing itself. Maybe hanging around just a little bit longer. Mm. We can be like, oh, yeah, there it is. Mm. Yeah, it's gone. It is delicious. Their peat monster is premier. Um, I'm not sure if you're new to the peat. This would be the one you'd want to try. I think this. Oh, one, no. Yeah. Well, originally you'd be like, yeah, this is I beginner. Well, the early peat monster is what totally converted me. So I said this, I think this would do it. And I still stand by that, but not this. Pause. All right, $120. Yeah, $120. Yeah. $120-ish. Yeah, well worth it. Well, W-E-L-L, -L, not W-H-A-L-E. You know there's a favorite tenure of mine. <laughs> Yeah, for half the price. <laughs> yes, a little more than half, baby. But, but this is still phenomenal. If you Very like good. to try different things, you yes. like to branch out, and you want to feel whiskey. If you're a whiskey omnivore, I want to come up with a name for that. Somebody come up, what would it be, a whiskey bore? No, but an omnivore. We try everything. In a night, I'll go, I'll have four samples off my bar. We had a commenter say, why you got so much alcohol? Are you trying to drink it all? No, I'll pour oh, yeah. a quarter ounce, a quarter ounce, a quarter ounce, quarter ounce, and then maybe even use my bamboo yeah. topper yeah. <laughs> and save it. I do the same. I find one. Yes. I don't know if it's a quarter ounce, but probably a half ounce, a little bit more. But I'll pour. I just pour small pours yes. because I'm like I'm going to drink. I want to try that. I want to I wanna compare it. I want to do a little bit, bit something different. Yep, I'm, a little something we're, different. I'm always comparing with the different things I have. It's not like you're a Jameson man and you only drink Jameson. No. You're, we're all over, and I think there's... Um, or you're a Bud Light man, and that's all you drink. What you talking about? It's Bud Light. We're saying, I mean, you want to try different things. Si, senor. <laughs> all right, go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up our glass toppers, hats, shirts, not glasses. This, not that, not keeps this, the lights on, not keeps that. the whiskey flowing, which well, we, we did buy stuff. this. Boom, we bought it. You can get staves. With stuff burned onto it. Scotch it. No. Go to Patreon, Patreon for a dollar. As long as a dollar. You can do two and then we'll shout your name with gusto, baby. Scotch it. You. Scotch. Gods. Slauncha. Dummies. Dummies. Quick, quick, quick. That's for checking your pulse. <laughs>